Let's paint some easy peasy birch trees using Dixie Bell paint products. Supplies needed for this project, paint, tape, brushes, and canvas. Hello everybody, we are back. My partner and I, remember my girl from last week, she helped me create, what did we make last week, molds? Yes. We made molds last week and we did a bunch of stuff. And today she has decided we are going to do a craft and she wanted to bring you along for our journey. So you get the lucky opportunity to hang out with us and learn how to paint some birch trees. Birch trees. So there's uh, a couple different ways to do birch trees. And she's done some research and she did a project at school, right? Yes, in our class. Okay, so tell us what the first step to painting birch trees is. Well, the first step is what we need to get tape and you're using the thin tape you don't want to use thick tape because it will be using for your trees so you want to tape up all the way to the top so that it's coming off we're going to go around tips. the edges right yes and you can overcross them you can overlap them if you want to it doesn't really matter um but this is going to be so that where your trees are that's long enough i think you want to pass me that tape and we can both have one yeah and I'm bringing scissors because I can't rip it. <laughs> <laughs> How's everybody doing today? Look, you're getting lots of waves and hearts. I think they enjoy our, our crafting together. So this is her idea. And um, we're going to use Dixie Bell paints and maybe one other color because she really wanted a specific green that I did not have. And we're going to do mommy-daughter crafting. So we're going to hang out Just and have some fun. It is long enough. Mine is long enough. You can make it longer than the canvas, but... I would not make it shorter. You want to have it coming off so it looks more real. Right. Too short. No, it fits just. Just right. Just right. Okay. I'm also going to take some of my trees and make them a little bit thicker. I'm not just going to have um, some skinny birch trees. I want to have some trees that are a little bit thicker. So you can do multiple things of tape, and right. if you want to, I still want to use a thick tape like. The big ones that are like thick. That's not like. I'm gonna overlap right. some of my tape. Is that okay? What? Like this to make some thicker trees. Yeah. I think that's good. We're being super fancy today. Do you see my lovely table? This is actually a drawer <laughs> to a dresser that I have sitting over there that's coming up soon. And what do y'all think of this piece behind me? I just finished it today. It's totally new and exciting. Loving this piece. We painted this on Instagram just yesterday, didn't we? Just yesterday, she helped me. I'm gonna do one crossing over. Ooh, crossing over your trees? That's gonna be fancy. Because I want to or something. You're ripping your tape. I'm ripping mine so long. Too long. I'm ripping mine off so that's not as long. Mine's too long to. Are you doing any branches up like this? That's why I'm ripping off pieces. So that's what I'm gonna do. That's nice. So that they're kind of crossing over. Maybe I'll do up like this. Maybe I'll cut mine. Can I use your scissors? So we're gonna do, after we've done cutting these pieces of tape and laying them down on our surface, what we're gonna do is actually paint the background. Um, this would be a really cool look to do on top of furniture as well, I think. You can really take a lot of different colors and incorporate a lot of different looks onto our piece. Hello, how are you? So she is going to be 11 soon, and she is a very artistic, smart cookie. She helps me a lot with her painting. So by the time that this quarantine is finished, FYI, I'll just quit and she can take over. <laughs> she can do all the Instagram things because she's doing really, really good. All right, I'm gonna come up here like this and do a branch. I'm gonna do one of mine a little bit thick. Mommy, for your branches, you wanna make your branches kind of thick because you don't wanna, you wanna, because we're gonna also have to do the stripes on them. So I'm taking my little branch so Okay. Making them bigger. Okay, you can do whatever you wish. I'm almost done. I think this is my last piece of tape. What do you think? How's that look? Is this good for me? Whatever you want to do. Whatever I want to do. Okay, so on the canvas, where the blue tape is, is where the paint is not going to touch. So those will be, be our trees. Those will be our birch trees, all right? We're going to ombre the canvas and do whatever we wish on the background. And then um, what's going to happen is when we peel off this tape, it's going to be the nice white, white lines, and the white lines will be our trees, and we're going to use a 
business card to make birch on our trees. All right? So can I begin even though you're not ready? Yeah. Okay. So our I'm going... The next step is just to paint the background. Yeah. Well, the next step would be to push your tape down and make sure that it's sealed on top of your piece. Well, that's already what we did, so... Yeah, but I see edges on yours. You gotta make sure that they're all stuck down, otherwise your paint's gonna get under... There. How's that? Good? I'm not, I don't, you don't need to be done. We're working separately. We're working together, but separately. So I've got some Moonshine Metallic set from Caribbean. It's a beautiful blue. I've also got my In the Gulf. And yikes, we're going to get fun with paint. We're going to craft with paint today. Branches on this one. No branches? Well, we have more canvases, so we can do whatever we want to do. And make mess. Branches on these two trees. Okay. Actually, I don't like this branch. Why don't you do one like that, going over? Okay. Kind of just like I cut it a little bit. Look, you need to use my cut piece if you want. No, she says. I'm doing it myself, Mom. All her way or the highway. All right. So I'm going to use a brush and begin an ombre on the background. Let's see, we've got a lot of people watching. You've got 25 people watching your video so far. Got it there? Yeah. Okay, you ready for paint? Yeah. So you wanna flip around and show them your canvas and I'll show them mine. So remember, where the blue is, is going to be trees. And then when we paint the background and peel the blue off, we're gonna be left with a beautiful ombre background and some gorgeous trees. You ready? When you peel the tape off, you're gonna have just a white, um, white lines, but we also need cards so that we can do the paint, which is going to be this. Stuff. Why don't you pick up one birch tree? Why don't you add another piece of tape to make one thicker? You don't want to? If you had one thicker, you'd have more room to make the lines across, is what I was thinking. Just one. Though. Just one. This one or this one? Probably this one. There's that a lot one. of open space. Yeah, that one. Yeah. All right, here I go. I'm gonna start with my Moonshine Metallics. And I'm gonna paint the edges on mine because when we hang these up on the wall. So for the lines, in our class we used ink, but today since we don't have ink, we're gonna be using black paint and we're gonna to try to make it as like quite watery so that you can dip it in and it just kind of goes across instead of having to push it like normal paint. So we have caviar for that. And for my colors, I did colonial mustard. I have this green from Hobby Lobby um, peacock, amethyst, and then plum crazy. Can I use some of your peacock? Thank you. Take it off. I can't do it. <laughs> so what are you making this weekend? What's everybody crafting this weekend? Hopefully you're pacing and having fun because that's the only thing left that we can do, hanging out inside all these days together. All right. Where is what paintbrush? What paintbrush is I'm using my, my mini, or my uh, flat medium because, yeah, flat. did you want to wet it? Just a little bit. That's all. Sure. Okay, my Moonshine Metallics is actually almost the same color as this blue. Don't forget your edges. What? Okay, so don't forget your edges. Yeah, I know. Because I want to be able to hang these up on the wall. Our artwork is priceless. Um, did you <laughs> take yourself to Here, just push it down. Moonshine Metallics in Caribbean. I've got Peacock, and now I'm going to go in the Gulf, and I'm just going to ombre some colors on here. And you want to make sure on your canvas after you're all done painting that there's no white spots left, because then it will make your birch trees look like they're coming out, which does not look 
That's good. So you can go and fix that when you're done. Or Do you think that this would be a nice thing to paint on a piece of furniture? Yeah. A nice flat front piece of furniture? Yeah. I think so. You can just leave your brush to the side if you want. You want a piece of paper towel and lay it down. I'll just wipe it off a little bit. I'm just thinking you can put it aside, then you'd be easier. Can I use some of your purple, please? Which purple that you want to use? Yes. Thank you. It's okay. We're going to wash it after. I know, but I still need to use it. Well, you have other brushes. Yeah, but still. I'm totally double dipping, cross contaminating my paint. I'm going to turn my canvas around so I can come this way. Where are we going to hang these? In your bedroom? No. No? Why not? I don't want to. <laughs> you don't want to hang up your art? That's pretty color. So what's everybody else made when they've been in quarantine? Anybody painting anything fun? Anybody having any art paint classes with their girl like me? Put your kids to work? That's pretty, Alyssa Batten. That's really pretty. Do you want to use my blue, or do you want money because there's that color on it? It's kind of this color. Do you want some water so you can blend it? painting a moon or anything on yours or stars or anything? Maybe stars. I'm gonna do like dot stars. Okay. Did you need this brush? No, I'm going to. Because I need to have my peacock in here. How long do you wait before you peel your tape off? Just until it's kind of dry because you don't want it to be like mixing in with your trees well can I dry it with my heat gun yeah if you want to let's see dusty that's pretty remember you can spray your brush if you need to so you can make it more damp and don't forget the top Ooh, are you going to put any gold <coughs> on yours? Any what? Gold? No. <laughs> no? You say that like it's a terrible idea. Gold is good on everything. Do you have any more of the other brushes? 
No. Why don't you just get the purple in here and then it'll mix with the blue and then it'll be a nice ombre color. Pardon? Remember you can spray your brush to blend your colors, which you can spray your canvas if you want. I see your daddy's watching. He's throwing you some hearts. So this piece behind me I finished um, this morning. It is a mix of In the Navy, Dusty Blue, Savannah Mist, and in the middle is some dry sage. I used a lot of drippy gold, and I also went in with my gilding wax, and these gorgeous medallions that you're seeing on here are beautiful would you bed and added detail. These are um, something you can purchase, actually. I'm not sure if the story is still up from yesterday or not. If not, I'll, I'll link it for you. You can purchase these off the Dixie Belle paint page. They are stunning. Look at that piece. It would not even be half as pretty if it wasn't for that gorgeous would you bed moldings on the front. And it's, it's looking good. I decorated it today. I took some fun pictures. I already made a cute little TikTok. You might have seen it posted on my stories. I'm a little obsessed right now with um, music and before and after videos. I really like it. Do you need to move it over for you so you can get your edge? No, no, no. I just want to make sure you get all your edges so that when we hang them up on the wall, we can see. It's pretty purple. Oh, yeah, I'm going to use the same brush for the pink color. Okay, you have to take the lid off because the, I um, it on the it's stuck. <laughs> I didn't put the lid on well, so it just didn't, it didn't seal very well. Got it? There you go. She's gonna add some plum crazy to hers. It doesn't fit. I've ruined that jar. Really, what? Maybe today we could transfer and put a bunch of things in jars again. That would be good, right? Did we already do that? Hey, don't put that on my. Stop, stop. I wear that apron. I don't it's want to cover it in purple. It's already got paint. It, it does have paint, but you know, we don't need a ton of extra paint on there. Ooh, that's pretty. That's a pretty ombre. So my canvas is ready for me to peel off my tape and where the tape was is where my birch trees will be. I should probably put some lids on some paint before I have some terrible accidents. Could be a disaster. really pretty. I, I really like that pink and purple together. Where's the lid for that one? That's nice. Next time we do it, I'm going to do all those colors, I think. Okay, can you dry mine now? Sure, I love dryers. This is really hot, so I'm just going to do it myself so that we don't have any accidents. So you're going to have to teach me how you do your black marks on your birch tree. Yeah. It's pretty. You like it? Turn around and show the, show the crew. 
now, can you see how those are trees with a beautiful ombre background? Mine's coming. It's half to dress. Just a little bit more, I think. Not a ton. Yeah. Is that hot near your leg? Are you okay? Too hot, the bubbles. I'm gonna start making bubbles. If you make your paint too hot, it bubbles up. Is that good enough? Or more? Yeah, that's probably good. Is that good? Oh, the sides are still wet. Well, that's okay. I can help you hold it while you peel it off. You won't be touching the sides. There you go. <coughs> her canvas. She's got a beautiful ombre blend with those gorgeous birch trees. She's going to put it down and she's going to show me how to do. Can you carve down there? Yes. So we still need to put the plate here. We are going to make watery black. So You want to make it watery? Mine. How much watery? It has to be like ink. We use ink. Well, I feel like ink would be darker, not watery. Why are you using the back? Well, how else are you going to scoop it out? It's not going to pour out. Yeah, it was. It was pouring out last time. Hey, look. It's all the way at the bottom. There. Is that water enough? Or more? We more, paint? more paint? That's not really <laughs> enough to fill up all of our trees. I'm glad you know what you're doing. I wouldn't spray it anymore. I'm not even going to use it. So you can use this. I'm going to just dip my card right in the black, I think. That's not going to work. Well, we're going to see. It's an experiment, right? Paint more paint in Let's start with this, and then if you need more, we'll come back. Why? Because it needs more paint. What's <laughs> that? More, even? Oh, careful. That's good. No, don't. Okay, that's it. Stop. Stop! All right. Do you want to, are you going to put it up here? Where are you going to put it? Oh, I forgot I was going to do a moon on mine. Oh, well. We'll do it the next time. I right, put it here so it doesn't tip over. That's a girl. All right, you're going to use this. Okay. Show me. Do you need a practice run on something? Yeah, for sure. It's just... What do I have? Practice run on just on here. And see how it goes. That's really wide. You're going to use the wide end? Ooh, that's nice. That's going to be so good. All right, and I trust you. It across. Show me. Show like me one before I do it. Because you have to keep repeating. Okay, show me. So she's dipping into a mix of caviar and water. And water to make it inky because we used ink. Let's see, so. she says the piece really came together. Yep. Wait till you see what she's gonna do now. This is the best part. She's adding. Oh my gosh, that's so good. Okay, you need to stop so I can show them how good this is. So, she's adding birch to her birch trees. How good is that? Hi, Maddie. I see you watching on there. Look what she just did. Isn't that amazing? So good, right? What are you doing? Put it down. Okay, are you going to spray a piece or are you spraying water? Don't get it on your painting. Do you need help? That's fine. Wow, I need to trust you more often because you are, you're super good. I would have went with the short side of the bro of the card and it wouldn't have been as good as the long side. All right, I'm gonna try mine then. I was gonna use my short side and dip it right in the paint, but she knows what she's doing over here. And you can take 
some spots that you don't want to put stripes on because those it's it's natural looking. Yours looks better than mine. Did you drag yours across? I did drag it across. Drag it all the way across. Put more here. Other side. Other side. Other side of the tree. <laughs> it's all right. I don't mind. You can't do short ones. You need more paint. I did three dips of big paint. Um, and then I put gloss over across. here. Pull all the way across. Yeah. That's better. That's good. And then you can repeat over top of it. All right. Well, let's see what we can do here. Great. I think this would be really nice on furniture. It would be harder to do on furniture. You'd have to find a really flat piece. You would have to find a very flat piece, yeah. Wow, you're really good at this. You're you're doing really well. My other picture is somewhere. I think it's over in the living room by the TV. Are you sure? Nope. Can I have some more water for you? Yeah. Do you do it from both sides or do you only do it from one side because of the shadows? Both sides. I don't care. I just kind of go from as the most. I think I'm done. Yours is so much better than mine. It's so good. You drag it back and forth. Well, I think that maybe you just need to show me a couple more times because yours is a thousand times better than mine is. See, so yeah, I ran out of paint, so it's okay if I don't show it. I'm just going to go over top of it. All right, here's my finished product. This is what my 10 year old taught me to do today. So there's a question up here that says, What are you using to apply the birch tree marks? We are using just black caviar paint with some water. To make it watery enough so that it almost is like ink because and normally in our class I used ink so we want to try to make it so that it looks like what we made before so that we have similar. And she's using a business card to drag it across. She wanted cardboard. So let's hold them up. Don't drop it. Hold it like this. You don't want your ink to drip. It's not going to drip. Neither is yours. I don't think it's, it's runny enough. Oh my gosh. You know what? Your picture is so, so good. What do you guys think? Hers is totally better than mine. Way to go. What do you guys think? Anybody think that they're gonna try and paint this today just for fun on canvas? If you do, you should make it like hers because how pretty is that? Look at all the hearts you're getting right now. So cool. So let's go over one more time for anybody coming in late from start to finish how to make this painting. Okay, so first thing we have our blank canvases and we have tape. We wanna make the tape so that it covers where we want our trees. We can have them overlapping and we can have branches coming off, but we can't have it like in the middle ending. You want it all the way up to the end of your canvas. And you can do two pieces of um, tape to make it thicker and then once they're covered you have to push them down and then you're ready to paint so i used just colonial mustard some craft hobby lobby green paint um i used peacock and i used amethyst and also plum crazy and I just kind of blended them over the tape where I wanted the colors. You can do whatever you want to with the colors. You could even do it one solid color, it doesn't matter. Um, then, 
once you're done that, you want to dry. Wait till the dry, paint is dried, or use a hair dryer or a heat gun as we use to dry it. Then you can peel off your tape all the way off, and then put it aside and take caviar or any kind of color black with water, or you can use ink, which is what I did in our class, but we used paint and water, which worked as well. You just need a business card and then just dip it in, pull it across, and you can do it multiple times. You can do it overlapping if you want color to be darker, and then you have your birch trees. And let's hold them up one more time. So good. Now you all learned how to make birch trees with Alyssa, the famous 10 year old. She uh, obviously knows her stuff. She's a smart cookie. This is your art painting class for the day. Go try it. Try it on a canvas. Try it on a, a cupboard door. You know? Do it on anything. Sure. I think it would be. You can even do it on paper if you want. You could do it on paper. And I think, you know what? If you had a big flat dresser, how pretty would this be on there? It would be absolutely gorgeous. So thank you everybody for hanging out with us today and learning how to paint birch trees with an ombre background. Once again, we used all Dixie Belle paint products minus one small little bit of green. And this was designed and crafted by my girl right here. She uh, painted this in art class and wanted to teach me how to do it. And I like yours a thousand times better than I like mine. It's because you've already done mine before. <sighs> now we just have to find a place to hang them because they're beautiful and colorful. And really, really pretty. High five. All right, go paint something today. Have fun, all right? You gonna go up there and hit the end button? Yeah. yeah. It's right up there in the corner. Thanks, guys. Have a good day. Thank you for watching. Make sure to hit like and subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification button so you know when there's new videos posted. Bye.